Jody. I have a new process video for Mixed Media Mayhem and today we are taking inspiration from our very own Scrappy Kathy and she has that beautiful four square type of layout and I have picked my colors and I have decided to use the Simple Stories Bro and Co collection. Um, it feels like it's getting a little old now, right? With all the new things starting to come in for the holidays. So um, I thought this was a great way to use some of it up. It's such a fun, colorful page. Um, Kathy, of course, used nice, bright colors for a, a spring layout. Mine is um, actually of a recent trip to since uh, Ohio, not quite Cincinnati, but not too far from there. We went to the Ohio Renaissance Festival and one of our very favorite performers is called Mooney and uh, he's just does all kinds of tricks and he he tries not to speak which makes it even more funny um, but yes so I picked a few stencils and some inks and I just go for it I get messy and I love it um, and yeah, I, I, I am using a foundations paper just in case um, I got a little carried away. <laughs> but, um, and then I did use some modeling paste through the stencils. Uh, and I just had some fun with it. Now the red, I'm going to be very honest. I don't think the, the red section... The modeling place was dry at all um, yeah and then I don't show it but I added aged mahogany over that fire brick and yeah the color changed but and not in a terrible way but yeah so I worked on the red section a little too much um, and I don't make you watch that <laughs> But um, you could definitely see it's kind of smushed, but that's okay. I, I'm still happy with how it turned out. I um, And I enjoyed making it. I thought this is such a fun way to um, use up some of those embellishments. There goes my mat and the picture. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Now, I can't tell if that was actual sewn on the page or not, or faux stitching of some kind, but I don't know how to sew. I don't, I have a sewing machine, and um, my husband has used it more than I have, just, just so you know. One of these days, I'm going to make myself get it out and figure it out, because I love the look of stitching. But until then, I'm just going to do a little faux action and leave it at that. So, um, so that was also fun to add. But right now I'm just putting a few layers behind the picture. And my oldest and my husband have a whole big outfits for their Renaissance Festival time, which is... Uh, which is always, always fun to see. <laughs> and all the things that get added every year. Samuel got a, a drinking horn this time for all that uh, soda he drinks. And my husband got this little pouch um, to, to keep his phone in, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> his phone and wallet. <laughs> anyway. I'm glad they are uh, like to dress up and have the spirit in them. So this is my uh, 
my faux stitching. I don't know what this little tool is actually called. Um, but I picked it up at paperissues.com and you run it through some ink and just roll it across the paper and it, it really does look like stitching. It makes these line of little dots and it's so much fun. I don't use it enough. I need to. And you just kind of dab it in ink and roll it on the paper and I think it gives a great effect. I really need to use it a little more. And my poor red section. One, you could tell like it's huge compared to the other ones. But it also feels very um, pushed down. Like, yeah. Anyway, that's okay. It's okay. I, I'm okay with that. I should have put, like I did with the blue... A little blue paper I should have put some red paper but anyway I still have a lot of embellishments I don't have very much paper um, but so this was the perfect type of layout to use all the colors and um, and I, I could have used the orange or the gray even or that more of a aqua blue um, but I went ahead and, and picked mostly the primary colors and even the yellow I w is is not as yellow as the embellishments but I think it still turns out pretty good I, I'm happy with it so yeah I'm just going through everything picking out the colors picking out things I think I might use and, uh, and yeah, I highly recommend this kind of layout when you have, um, a lot of embellishments to use. Excuse my big giant gray haired head, but I did add a little bit of fossilized, um, amber into the mustard seed to give it a little more of a dirty <laughs> dirty yellow is that a word is that a color oh my gosh anyway <laughs> didn't need much and I think it works and that's all I'm doing I'm, I'm popping a few things up of course if you know I just use the mounting foam adhesive rectangles from the Dollar Tree and I don't know how long they will last but for the price and for the amount you get that's what I use and they seem to work fine I do try to use liquid adhesive when I do have such a full um, mixed media background plus the modeling paste um, roller adhesive is just not going to cut it so Definitely use your liquid adhesive to help hold everything down. And I'm just adding away. I'm just adding away. It was such a fun collection. It definitely is for older kids. Um, when it first came out, my guys were pretty young still. But um, it's kind of, they've kind of grown into it right uh i know it kills me that they're they're getting older the oldest will be 12 yeah in a couple weeks and i'm i'm having a really hard time with it <laughs> i want him to stay my monkey baby <sighs> that's okay that's okay i know i'm i'm excited to see what he does but I also just want him to stay my baby. It's it's rough, y'all. It's rough, right? And we, we waited. We waited so long to have children. Um, I was so grateful I've got to be home all this time. So yes, the big one too. Um, the little guy will be eight. 
in the winter so it just moves right on by it's hard to believe but it does now n none of these embellishments have anything to do with the actual renaissance festival or the picture but that doesn't mean not to use them right or that's that's what i think some collections um you know I don't know I to me as long as it makes you happy use what you want when you want how you want it is your paper what else do I do oh I did I have a whole bunch of the enamel dots but it didn't come with black ones that was, that was like the only thing I thought I should have used the orange instead of the black, but that's okay. I, I like the black. And instead of, instead of looking through my stash, because I'm sure I had black something I could have used, I used um, some Nuvo drops. And then I was like, well, those are pretty fat. So I just kind of smushed it around. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's all good. And I call it done, friends. Thank you so much for dropping in. Here's some final pictures. Please um, hop along. I know there'll be plenty of us playing along this month. Um, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I hope you're well. Take care. Again, thank you so much. Bye-bye now.